Welcome everyone to a new episode of the Pokemon Podcast. Today's episode, Hydrapple. For all you newcomers, our exciting battle build series is where we train the same Pokemon in secret and reveal our strategies live. Our goal is to inspire out of the box thinking and showcase the boundless possibilities of Pokemon training. It's all about embracing creativity and showing that there's no one way to train a Pokemon. Let's dive into it. Hydrapple is one of the newest Pokemon for the Indigo Disc DLC. It is a Grass Dragon type, taking four times damage from Ice, two times damage from Flying, Poison, Bug, Dragon, Fairy. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, you name it! Takes half damage from Ground and one quarter damage from Water, Grass, and Electric. That is a lot of weaknesses. <laughs> and it's a lot of weaknesses, wait until you get to my build. Its abilities are Super Sweet Syrup, where it lowers the evasion of the opposing Pokemon by one stage when it's set into battle. I do believe this is only once per battle. Its other regular ability is Regenerator. When the Pokemon is switched out of battle, it heals up to 33% of its maximum HP. And its hidden ability is Sticky Hold, where the item cannot be taken or knocked off. Its base stats are 540 with its hit points at 106, attack at 80, defense of 110, special attack at 120, special defense of 80, and a speed of 44. Alright, this is my Hydrapple Hydrate. I swear I was going to give him a different name, but I just could not think of it after I changed his moveset a few times. <laughs> One of the names was being High Potion, and you'll see why, but um, kind of. <laughs> So my Hydrapple is running a Sassy Nature with 252 points into HP, 200 into Special Defense, and 56 into Defense. It has the Assault Vest item, and I'm using the ability Regenerate. Its movesets, I was at first, okay, so funny story, one of the things I was trying to look for its movesets was like, oh, okay, let's get that move, that move, that move, that move. Wait, all of its moves have the letter G in it, <laughs> except for this one. Which one can I put instead? So basically for those G moves, I have Gyro Ball, I have Giga Drain, and I also have Grassy Glide. This um, Hydrapple in general is supposed to be a more of a 2v2 uh, with someone that can set up Grassy Terrain. So in this case, either like a Rillaboom or a Arbeliva. And then its last move was Draco Meteor. But then I was like, but Draco Meteor is such a powerful move. I can't just change that out just to have another move with the letter G in it. And then I was thinking of like uh, Grassy Knot. Grassy Knot probably also would have been a nice move as well, but. Like I said, we got to <laughs> I think Draco Meteor has the uh, better option here. But basically the whole point of this build was like, it's going to focus more on like just trying to stay alive and like keeping its health up. So like the assault vest or the stats with the nature put together have its defenses like both at 270, low 100. Oh yeah, terra typing, grass type. I was trying to decide whether between grass or dragon because I kind of wanted it to just have just the single typing instead of both of its typings while still having the stab. I know Dragon has like a lot more resistances, but I feel like having the grass typing at the least, I could like at least stop it from like getting sport or something. Or yeah, because that, that would really suck. Yeah, that, that is that was my high grapple. <laughs> it was actually a very interesting build. <laughs> I, I'm kind of at a loss of words. I'm sort of looking right now to see if I can consolidate this and I think I got something for you guys. Uh, Gurren, I have to compliment you because this is a gloriously gr great gathering of growth on your group gluttonous grups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I got that off on the very first time but I mean it's a very sassy build and it shows the whole point of this entire series is to be creative with it by focusing on a very off the wall theme and I mean, you can come at me all you want because I, as much as I want to have fun with my builds, I still focus very heavily on them still being viable, even in the low sectors of compatibility. So having something where you're like, you know, I really just want to have all my moves be G. This dude, really an OG. Waiting for the day for the Pokemon coming to give me a dragon type move with the letter G, please. I'm surprised you didn't try and slide in growth in there somewhere. Yeah, I would the assault vest. I would have. I would have honestly. Oh, that's right. You got the assault vest running. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Yeah. Because that would have actually offset the damage, uh, the the stat drop for Draco Meteor. You had some light going. Yep. Oh man. But overall, I I like this. I like this build. I like the fact that you've got Draco Meteor on this apple. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> it's raining meteors. 
and your G thing. <laughs> G I thing. tried. I tried. <laughs> okay, what keeps this PG thirteen? I mean, the grassy glide. I I was looking at that move, and it. I just. I wasn't. I didn't want to have to worry about setting up. I wanted to be able to start rolling out the go get go. But you going with a two v two setup uh, with Rollaboom, Arboliva, I think, you know, really does help with that, and it it makes things a little easier for you. Yeah, no, overall, not bad. Since this Pokemon seems to be a whole like party involving the candy and everything, and for those of the Spanish uh, speaking persuasion, they'll understand exactly where I put this name. I named my Hydrapple Many Zanya. So, I built this very kind of gimmicky sort of idea, building it off of the idea of Regenerator and Eject Pack to pull it out of the combat whenever its stats are dropped, and then focusing on very heavy hitting moves like Draco Meteor and Leaf Storm in order to trigger that and pull it out of combat after it just punches them in the face. Um, it also has survivability with its EVs, I pumped it into 244 HP to get the best out of Regenerator. 60 defense and 204 special defense just to round that off to allow it to be able to be a very good pivot so it can come in smack it in the face and then move back out right away which will in my mind makes it very difficult to pin down i put earth power on there just so that it had uh, an attacking option that won't force it to switch out and still deal a, a decent number of damage and Surf Bomb just to help bring down an opponent's speed so that way it creates a better position for whatever Mon is going to be pivoting in after this Hydrapple. Terror Tight Steel, not that I feel like it really matters, just because I think whatever we're switching in is going to be the bigger threat and this is just going to be an interesting uh, chip away strategy leading into that. But I did give it a, a calm nature just to kind of help bolster everything. So fun story, one of the builds I was thinking of was running, not a jack pack, but a jack button because of how slow it is. So like, I, I, I thought like, at first I thought, okay, that probably would have been a great idea, but I was like, but it's slow. It's not going to get its attack off, Glad, Come on. Hello. It's not going to get it off. And then I'm like, what about a trick room setting? <laughs> but like, I, I do like the idea with the jack pack a lot better because it's it's based on like the stats being lowered, right? I think if it to send it back out. So yep, uh, sir, bam, you hit it, you dip out, something else pops in. Maybe yeah. it does a boost and the bomb passes into Hydrapple, which hits it again. Yeah, so I, I like that. I like that. And then like also running the regenerator build. Yes, I, j I just thought like that that was like a very awesome thing. Terra Steel, I, I think I like that as well. Definitely losing that uh, free weakness. But that was another one I was thinking of going as well too. The Terra Steel, just because like, uh, you know, you have that uh, resistance against fairies. And uh, if you did also end up having like Terra Blast or something on top, then you, know, you can also take care of fairies and ice types. Yeah, yeah, pretty bulky mod. Um, definitely a little bit more points in your defense compared to what i did and uh, calm nature and the calm yeah they, they, they just go in there it's gonna be that it's gonna have that calm attitude as it sees itself being ejected only to come back again later it knows what's up so i guess i guess my big question and uh probably some of the other people here are, are listener or some of our other listeners might be asking um, wouldn't the, uh, what is it, the escape pack, wouldn't that trigger off of an Intimidate? Yeah, it could as well. So that the could be one movie. way that they put it out. As far as I know, it's a multi-use thing. I didn't see anything that said it gets used up. Interesting. So you're basically doing a, she uh, uh, what is it, a uh, shell game where you're, you're, you're hitting and running, and you're just doing a swap out for another, another Pokemon after hitting them really hard. I, I do I do like that idea, and if it does work where you're constantly being able to eject yourself out after using the move, not only keeps your Hydrapple in the fight longer, but you're also throwing down some serious damage and not suffering from the from the uh, drop stat, but also makes it really hard to plan against what to hit that Hydrapple with, or what to hit the incoming Mon with when you have a choice of different Pokemon that will be coming out in instead. So you could actually set it up where you've got a couple of Intimidate Mons. So you Hydrapple, Bounce, Intimidate. And I like the fact that you have that option. It's, it's just a really cool build. I like this. Since you mentioned team building, one of the things that came to mind to add to the whole uh, 
three card Monty or uh, cup game that you mentioned is pairing it with on a six versus six team with Zorua or Zorox that have the oh. illusion. <laughs> so you're not even sure what actually is out there while you're doing this little cup game. Even when I lift the cup, it just looks like an app. <laughs> I like this. I like it. <laughs> My Hydrapple is known as Newton. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very simple name, isn't it? It gave me the ability regenerator and the item shell bell because I want this apple to be in for the long haul. I Unlike went... the theory of gravity. <laughs> well, gravity's going to be playing a part of this, which I'm kind of sad that Hydrapple does not get gravity. But uh, I start with defense curl to start bolstering its physical defense stat. But I'm doing this for two reasons. Reason number one is I want, I'm want i gonna be using rollout with it. And if you use defense curl before you use rollout, it actually boosts the power of rollout, which gives it a nice good rock move against those flyers and some ice types. You also get, um, I've also given it body press because if I'm boosting the defense, I might as well use it to my advantage. And we've seen the power of body press before. So I figured this would be a really good capitalization of, of that one defense boost into two different moves. And the last move I, I'm throwing on there is the gyro ball, because let's face it, uh, Hydrapple is slow. It is really slow. <laughs> and if you're going to be using, if you're going to be that slow, I might as well, again, use it to my advantage and use that gyro ball giving it a relaxed nature, I'm bumping its, I'm, I'm buffing its defense while sacrificing speed. And it's, the EV spread I put on it was 182 hit points, attack of 76, and a defense of 252. And then I finally gave it with the Terra type steel, changing all of those massive weaknesses into resistances. So it only takes half damage from anything that would actually normally hurt it. It's actually really interesting. Um, I love how you capitalize on the fact that Hydrapple is, uh, how they'd say, slow as molasses, or in this case, slow as a sweet syrup. That gyro ball is going to be really devastating, and I'm not sure how that operates. If you trick room and it changes the order of the turn, does that change the speed? Or, like, does gyro ball still work on the same damage uh, algorithm if you are in a trick room situation? If it does, then that's actually incredible because then you could either in 2v2 set up a trick room and just do that damage right up front while you're capitalizing on that big uh speed difference i i might have missed uh the item that it's holding but i would suggest a metronome for your rollout or even the uh room service like we've seen on the channel before um, um so to answer your, your first question real quick uh it, trick room does not change the damage it only just changes the order based on speed Stell bell so, I see. You chose the the recovery. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that uh, every time this thing hit, it was getting back. And since, you know, doing different things is going to give it that very high damage output, the equivalent of healing um, is there. Plus, the regenerator, if I need to swap it out in a pinch so that I don't lose it and I can just reset, there it is. I like how we have a very similar approach to building this uh, mon with that in mind, except for yours just seems to have a lot more bravery than my build. Just like the person who discovered the law, this apple is just going to be a real, it's just going to have this relaxed personality of just, I'm going to defense curl now, and then I'm just going to roll around or body slam you with a body press. <laughs> And doing its thing. But I do like it. Uh, I, I like the fact that we all went with Regenerator as well. Because, like, I mean, I know that other move it has is, like, really good for lowering, like, the speed and everything. But, like... Evasion. I don't know. Oh, Evasion. Sorry. And then, um... But I do I do like the fact that Regenerator is there. Because it's such a... It's such a helpful, like, ability. Especially when you're... If you are one of those types that like to, like... I mean, that, you know, are in favor of, like, switching out a lot. The Defense Girl... I, I know this isn't the first time I've learned it, but it still it, looked, it, it still mind boggles me today that the fact that defense girl actually affects like the damage that you can do with, with rollout is just amazing. And ice and, ball for some reason. And ice ball. Ooh, that's really weird. <laughs> like yeah. I get rollout, 
Ice Ball? Not so much. Yeah. Well, in Legends of Arceus, they had a whole series of moves that kind of copied that. I think they even had like a Rolling Thunder or something that was an electric version of it. Legend of Arceus had a bunch of weird moves that were just copycats. Mm. And then, yeah, and then Gyro Ball. Well, you know, you can't grow on Gyro Ball. The thing is, just like you said, its speed is just abysmal. It ain't there. So, <laughs> you know. You'll be doing at least some pretty decent damage against most Pokemon. Granted, you know, they're not as slow as it, but... And then, yeah, Terra Steel. Yeah, I, I think Terra Steel, no no problems there. Like, you, you have a lot of resistances, and then you're also giving that Gyro Ball, like, it, extra, a little bit extra more damage as well. So, and Shell Bell. Shell Bell for more sustain. Yeah. Always nice. Always <laughs> nice. The problem with Hydrapple is that it is so abysmally slow that yeah it's great that you could drop their evasion one stage but that's all it has and i just really couldn't justify the super sweet syrup for this one yeah it's like it's not like i'm setting this up for syrup bomb um it's just it's so slow that i don't want i'm, I'm gonna be going last so syrup bomb just kind of doesn't feel right for this particular pokemon unless you're doing a trick room team but then at that point you're also going to be aiding your opponent by dropping their speed even further so it just it, it this feels out of place for that for this particular idea see i actually ran syrup bomb on mine just because of it's a pivot and it's setting it up for uh that return but yeah investing that that move that you're not doing that high damage output just as a plan if you don't immediately have a way of recovering whatever hit you're taking it's not an advantage situation so i see exactly where you're coming from in terms of uh talking about the syrup bomb but to make sure there's clarity the super sweep syrup ability drops evasion and unless you're using that to help get syrup bomb off rich generator is just a million times better in fact i had to look up because i thought regenerator was the hit uh ability right with that brings our episode to a close how would you build your hydrapple what do you think about our builds let us know down below also be sure to share like comment and subscribe let us know how we're doing and thanks x for joining us today thank glad you. to stick around and as always have a wonderful day bye seven times see you next time don't be fickle with your apples be holding your beams <laughs> all, all your games <laughs> <laughs>